okay so let's begin the class good morning ma'am now we are good morning mute yourself now so as you all remember the teacher tried to make goli comfortable by her friendly manner you know how she asked her name again do goli was hesitant nervous but she tried and yes she was able to speak her full name that confidence that trust the teacher showed him showed in her she kept her trust and she spoke her name the teacher praised her for her attempt and said that if she shunned her fear she would be able to speak clearly now this is the job of teacher to motivate their children and bully was also genuinely surprised that how she had spoken the teacher at once understood her curiosity and said that what she had said was was true and if she came to school every day she would be able to speak without any problem and she also inquired if bholi would come to school the next day bholi gave her approval by moving her head in up and down direction by nodding but the teacher prompted her to speak it loudly this encouraged bholi and she spoke yes clearly she was surprised at her own ability to speak clearly and the teacher again praised her and gave her a book full of pictures of dog cat goat etc and their alphabet was or the words were written in big size and the teacher also said that when goli would complete that book she would be given a bigger book and after that a still bigger book she also said that one day she would become an educated person in the village and would respect her because of her knowledge and wisdom people definitely the entire villagers will respect her and not only this she would be able to speak clearly without stammering with this she asked her to come to school early the next morning so everything has changed in bholi's life if i ask you this question how was bholi's first day at school you will write down it was mixed day because when she stammered in the classroom her classmates they made fun of her but when teacher because for the very first time in her life somebody talked to her so nicely so compassionately so she really felt genuinely good there was a kind of confidence in her character and then everything gone be well so now the time passed her heart was throbbing with a new hope and a new life yes if you remember this last paragraph that bholi felt as if suddenly all the bells in the village temple were ringing and the trees in front of the school house had blossomed into red, big red flowers her heart was throbbing into a new hope and a new life she was genuinely happy because for the very first time her heart felt a rare type of happiness a very typical you know very extraordinary happiness immense pleasure she was feeling ecstatic she imagined that she could hear the bells at the temple ringing and she also started imagining that the tree outside the school had red colored flowers on them and you know she felt a sudden beat in her heart that made her hope full of hope and happiness and then what happened just the years passed yes year passed and the village became a small town so development took place in that place and that a small village turned into a small town the little primary school became a high school thank god government is doing their job so the primary school where she was first admitted now became a high school there were now a cinema under a tin shed and a cotton ginning mill okay and the mail train began to stop at their railway station and so so many things changed the school the village is uh, sorry became a small town the little primary school turned into high school there was also a cinema hall there was also a small mill and the mail train that means the mail the newspaper they also started coming to that little place now everything was going on well 
she was also getting her education moving to next classes doing well in her life but one night after dinner ramla said to his wife then shall i accept december's proposal so what was that what happened what was this proposal obviously all three of his daughter were married and she was the last one son were already sent to school there after colleges so everything was well in his life except according to him he had only one responsibility left and that was sulekha bholi so he was having a little conversation with his wife so shall i accept december's proposal yes certainly his wife said bholi will be lucky to get such a well to do bridegroom well to do well off quite a rich a big shop a house of his own and i hear several thousand in the bank moreover he is not asking for any dowry so now what was the conversation the topic of the conversation was they were actually thinking about bholi's marriage and they were talking about the prospective bridegroom and they were discussing simple that bholi has obviously got a marriage offer and whether he should accept it or not because that was the proposal wife replied what is wrong in that they should definitely accept the proposal because it was quite suitable for holi and then she also she added that yes the bra- the groom is well off he had a big shop he has his own house and yes he has some cash also deposited in the bank and most importantly uh, i told you dowry which is actually a stigma on indian society and he is not even asking for dowry oh that's right but he is not so young you know almost the same age as i am and he also limps moreover the children from his first wife are quite grown up see this is the reality why december the well of groom accepted bolis offer or maybe is you know what was the reason okay that december was actually of his own age means bholi's father's age not only that he is also handicapped he limps and then he was already married widower he was actually he has the children from his first wife which are quite grown up so just imagine what kind of proposal they were talking about bholi's parents they were not thinking about bholi's ambition her dreams they were talking of this marriage because he is 45 50 around quite an age he is also a widower okay he has children which is also a bholi's age so what is the use of having well off think about it now what was the reason you know why the parents were thinking because bholi was not pretty is it the only parameter now this is a million dollar question before the entire society of india that you are going to judge girls on the basis of her physical appearance her quality her education her you know uh, good values they are not going to play any vital role anyway so let's continue the story then we will have a discussion on this so what does it matter his wife replied now see mother how selfish a mother can be she says what does it matter 45 or 50 it is no great age for a man hmm. we are lucky that he is from another village and does not know about her pock marks and her lack of sense if we don't accept his proposal she may remain unmarried all her life now this was her holy's mother she is saying oh what does age matter perhaps he might be 50 or 45 i don't think it is a great age for man and thank god he does not know about the pock marks see i told you the physical appearance the parameter so he says that you know uh, nowadays also you would have seen in the newspaper in matrimonial column that most of the people will ask for fair complexion beauty good looking what does it mean is there any parameter of good looks i don't think so but people are still obsessed specifically in india with fair skin white complexion 
how how pathetic it is how sick mentality of our uh, society now the mother is saying yo thank god he doesn't know about her pox marks chicken pox marks and her lack of sense mother doesn't know that she has been going to school and she is now quite an educated and sensible girl but she thinks that she is having lack of sense okay and again she is adding that if he will not accept this proposal i think we, my her their daughter will never get married wait yes, but i wonder what boli will say father is little concerned because now boli is a grown up girl quite educated so he definitely wanted to ask but mother says what will that witless one say she is like a dumb cow father father said that may let's go and ask her what is her opinion but what was mother's you know words she said oh what will that witless wit it you means uh, knowledge witless without wit means foolish what will that witless one say ah she is like a dumb cow okay matlab being a dumb cow instead of it is a you know kind of uh, quality she is saying oh she is like a dumb cow we can mar marry her to anyone maybe you are right mute trandar he murmured okay maybe you are right he agreed to his wife views in the other corner of the courtyard boli lay awake on her cot listening to her parents whispered conversation and you know boli was listening everything so she was listening that how her parents were talking about her marriage she was listening that how she is getting a matchless groom for herself she was listening that how her mother was saying that she is ha having a ugly face and her mental condition is also not well just imagine when you listen all these things from your own parents you really feel shattered okay so she was listening vishambar nath was a well to do grocer now let's know who was vishambar nath hmm? so vishambar nath grocery you know grocer shop who sells good of household and food items grocery so vishambar nath was a well to do well off chalo paise wala tha theek thak he came with a big party of friends and relations with him for the wedding so finally wedding was fixed and the day came the wedding day came vishambar nath well off fellow he came with a big party of friends bahut bada barat leke pahuncha and a brass band playing a popular tune from an indian film he did the profession uh, procession and yes you know you would have seen the common barat it was also with all pomp and show he came there hmm? and uh, good business he was since he was uh, well off so he came with friends family accompanied by a brass band which was playing popular tunes from hindi movies and ramlas was overjoyed to see such pomp and splendor pomp and show lavishness ramlal was very happy he did not think about the groom he did not think about his another marriage he did not think about his uh, you know age but he was happy to see the all pomp and show okay he had never dreamt of such a grand wedding for his fourth daughter mm -hmm. he never thought that his fourth daughter who was not even uh, beautiful not intelligent she will have such a grand wedding oh, what a you know again thought of these people even bholi's elder sisters who had come for the occasion were envious of her love okay jealous of her love they were feeling just imagine they all were well off they have been to a good families and see this the sisters were also having a kind of jealousy because what what is she going to get little bit of money an overaged husband with children but yeah they were in ways when the auspicious moment came the priest said bring the bride anyway the ritual started you know the program the entire marriage ceremony started the moment came the auspicious moment came and as you would have seen the common thing the priest asked come on call the bride holy clad in a red silken bridal dress now you might be thinking definitely one question will come to your mind why bholi agreed because bholi also belonged to a normal family to a normal village although she was educated 
but she did not have the guts to say no and i told you that uh, generally and uh, nowadays also girls feel that response uh, marriage is a responsibility and they just want to lessen down the burden of their marriage so that's why they agree even though they did not like so bholi clad in a red silk and bridal dress was led to the bride's place near the sacred fire wo jo havan kund hota hai she came there girl in the bride jayamala which you which usually we used to say one of his friends prompted prasambana so that jayamala ceremony started the bride groom lifted the garland of yellow marigolds a women slipped back the silken veil from the bride's face prasambana took a quick glance the garland remained poised in his hands the bride slowly pulled down the veil over her face and then something happened as they were about to continue the garland ceremony garland exchange ceremony somebody you know a woman basically slipped back the silken veil the silk sari which she was wearing and as he was about to put the garland he saw the blemishes the scars the pock marks on her face yes december took a quick glance he looked at it and he saw that pock marks on her face and before he would have put the garland the bride slowly pulled down the veil what did he say have you seen her said december to the friend next to him she has pock marks on her face just imagine see the girls of this man he is going to get married again which was quite an age and see what is he saying she has pock marks on her face the friend said his friend said so what you are not young either how can you complain you are not even young maybe but if i am to marry her her father must give me 5000 rupees he asked now this was the thing okay so he says no i don't care but since she is so ugly and if i have to marry doesn't matter i am a grown up man but if i have to marry her her father need to give 5000 rupees now this is the is it uh, something some marketing is going on okay what is this that i will marry her because even though she is ugly but in that in lieu of that one has to give her father has to give me 5000 rupees ramlal went and pleased his turban now entire bollywood drama started you would have seen this in the movies okay so ramlal went and pleased his turban his honor turban a mark of honor okay his honor at december's feet oh do not humiliate me so take 2000 rupees and now the bargaining is started as if you are buying something as we go to uh, buy vegetables or any other grocery items so similarly the bargain is started oh i will uh, i'm asking for 5000 no i will be able to give you 2000 what are are you doing are you buying a groom or selling your bride what is this so he simply said ki please we don't have enough money do not humiliate us do not insult us please keep my daughter i will give you 2000 rupees no 5000 or we go back keep your daughter now nowadays also in some of the villages if a daughter if the barat is returning without getting married i think it's a very it's a humiliation it's an insult for the entire family in why is it so so the december started threatening no i will not take your daughter i will not marry your daughter unless you give me 5000 oh be a little considerate please be a little thoughtful considerate means thoughtful if you go back i can never show my face in the village yeah that if you will not accept my daughter as your bride i won't be able to see my show my face in the village then out with 5000 again that man shouted so just imagine how bad it is tears streaming down his face ramlal went in opened the safe and counted out the notes he placed the bundle at bride groom's feet anyway but he ramlal went inside took out money and put it on his feet on december's greedy face appeared a triumphant smile yes that was his planning 
December, he was not a groom. First of all, just see how many demerits he was having, and still he has the guts to ask for the dowry. But he was smiling with a victorious, winning smile, victorious smile. He had gambled and won. Just imagine. First of all, he trapped them, even though he was quite an age. But he trapped a young girl to get married. But when he saw the pork mass, he started asking for the dowry. So it was a gambling, and he won. Give me the garland, he announced. So now this man said, "Okay, okay, give me the garland. I am now going to get married." But 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 now the uh, real drama will start now, and that is I must appreciate. We must appreciate. Once again, the veil was slipped back from the bride's face. But this time, her eyes were not downcast. Yes, the veil was slipped down. Holy removed the cover off her veil, the gungat, and stared at Trisambhar. This time, she was not putting her eyes downcast. She was looking up. Yes, looking straight at her prospective husband. And in her eyes, there was neither anger nor hate, only cold contempt. Yes. So finally, this girl, she was. Her eyes were full of disrespect for him. Very straight, no feeling. Okay, no hatred. Obviously, very nicely it has written. As if we love someone whom we like, we hate someone we from whom we uh, are concerned. But no. So she had neither, you know, anger nor hatred. Nothing was there. No feelings. No emotion. What was that? It was cold contempt. Means disrespect. Only no anger, no hatred. Only disrespect. Great disrespect for that man. And you know, respect is very essential for any kind of relationship, even in friends. Bishamba raised the garland to place it round the bride's neck, but before he could do so, Bholi's hand struck out like a streak of lightning. And the garland was flung into the fire. Wow! What a heroic activity she did. So, as December was about to garland her, she struck her hand at the garland, and as quick as the streak of lightning, एक दम तेजी से, hmm, the garland flew and fell into the sacred fire. और उसी हवन में, हवन कुंड में, she threw the garland. And now she shouted. बहुत ज़्यादा नहीं. But yeah, Pitaji said Bholi in a clear, loud voice. She was not shouting, not howling, no uh, excessive emotion. No anger, no hatred, no disrespect. And very strongly, she said, a strong and a stern voice, Pitaji. So, in a loud, clear voice, and her mother, father, sisters, brothers, relations, and neighbors were startled to hear her speak without even the slightest stammer. That means they have not heard. And she had not spoken for last so many years in her family. But the koi nahi jaan raha tha ki now she is not stammering. Just imagine how neglected, thoroughly neglected she was in the family. That her even her mother, father, malum baaki log alag hai, sisters, brothers, relatives, neighbors. It was so you know surprising that they have as if they have never heard her. They have never had a conversation with her. They have never talked to her. Just imagine, this is the height of negligence. And she, without stammering, na koi stammer na kuch, she is saying, "Pita ji, take back your money. I am not going to marry this man." Yes. Pehli baar bola, lekin si de, ne kya de six. So, Pita ji, I am not going to marry this man. Ram Lal was thunderstruck. Was surprised. The guests began to whisper, "So shameless, so ugly, and so shameless." मतलब अगली है तो shameless नहीं. Wow. Everybody started whispering, "What is this? What is this? This girl is speaking. She is so shameless. Even if she is ugly." Bholi, are you crazy? Shouted Dramlal. Are you crazy? You want to disgrace your family? Have some regard for our Ijjat. He is saying. What are you doing, Ramlal says? Why you are disgracing your family, dishonoring your family? Come on, regard. Now, our Izzat is. This is the Izzat. This is society's name. What is it? 
all the time someone has to make sacrifices hmm. so please think about our izzat then bholi said for the sake of your izzat for the sake of your respect i was willing to marry this lame old man wah kya baat hai bahut acche se bola you know since i was concerned for your respect i was ready to marry this lame handicapped old man but but i will not have such a mean greedy and contemptible coward as my husband i won't i won't i won't and then she simply said she said yeah for the sake of her family's honor and respect i was ready to marry this lame old man but now i'm not ready to marry this greedy coward contemptible means offensive greedy coward man is bahut ho gaya no and thrice she spoke i won't i won't i won't repetition means she was putting a stress on her words no 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 sorry papa no i accepted whatever you did theek hai i accepted an old man i accepted a lame man i accepted a uh, this shameless man but greedy asking for dowry no way what a shameless girl we all thought she was a harmless dumb cow now the entire gaon wala village has started whispering yahi to kaam hai unka society and everybody started old women jo hota hai old women commented that what a shameless girl no shame at all and we all thought she was a harmless dumb cow okay harmless they thought that she was a dull and innocent girl harmless dumb cow se comparison kiya gaya hai we thought because she will not say these things bholi bholi pure mood mein thi usne for full form mein ekdam virat kohli ki tarah bholi turned violently on the old women yes aunty you are right you all thought i was a dumb driven cow that's why you wanted to hand me over to this worthless creature but now the dumb cow the stammering fool is speaking do you want to hear more wow <laughs> just our um, even though we lost the last match but as our virat kohli performed nicely hey all sare balls the six okay so she turned down and said, yes auntie you are right she got the guts to speak now she was not stammering and everyone was listening to her the entire village and very nicely says yes auntie you are right you all thought i was a dumb driven cow yeah i am dumb i am fool i am harmless oh that's why you wanted me to hand me over to this heartless creature that's why my family my parents and the entire village wanted me to get married to this heartless man kuch nahi hai uske paas he is neither of my age not he is educated he is a widower a ah, little bit money he is having and heartless he is that means the moment he saw my face instead of having any reciprocation respect for me that i am actually i uh, agreed to get married to him he uh, started bargaining but now the dumb cow the stammering fool she called herself ye jo dumb hai dull cow the stammering foolish girl is speaking do you want to hear more aur kuch sunna hai and yes okay children actually time is coming to its end tomorrow we will uh, conclude that entire chapter abruptly the class will come to its end that's why i'm okay, telling you ha huh, okay kyunki okay, last pura paragraph tomorrow we will discuss fine okay interesting eh obviously she refused <laughs> nice story no giving inspiration